Hello, I'm Ronnie Dawson. And I'm living proof that Rockabilly is here to stay. Good morning, Texas. our program today, we have a rockabilly legend here in North Texas, a man named Ronnie Dawson. You saw him there at the beginning of the broadcast, and we're very excited to have Ronnie with us. Ronnie, yeah. good morning. Scott good morning. and Deborah, how are you? you? Thank you very much for being with us. Well, nice to be we here. We appreciate you coming by, and boy, they were practicing uh, before we went on the air. They do what they call a sound check, and you could hear them on the other side of the studio. I saw you sliding around. Oh, I you can't sliding, help man. but do that with this type of music. <laughs> it's so much fun. How did you first get started in the business? Oh, Lord, it's a, it's a long story, really. I'll try to <laughs> make it short. We've got a few minutes for I'll try to make it short. It's an hour show. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you know, it started probably in church with me. Really? My family was, uh, my mother was led the singing in church, Gladys, she's watching this morning. Oh, good morning, and, uh, and so, yeah, I, she used to lead singing in church. My father was a musician, had a western swing band, played down in Deep Ellum, about a block from where I'll be playing tomorrow night. Wow. In the 30s. Uh -huh. So, you know, and I had an uncle that played fiddle. So it was, it was around. And my aunt, and I had another aunt, that, two, two aunts that played. So it was, you know, I had music in my family. system all the time. Yeah, yeah, when you were playing rockabilly, it wasn't like your parents are going, now, son, they were they're probably applauding you. A little time. bit. My, <laughs> mom, my mom was a little bit. My dad was saying, go, oh, man, you can't hear it. Now. <laughs> I think at the time, mom was uh, wanting me to get into church music a little more. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that makes sense, too. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of, your, some of your background here. Let's talk about, you went on American Bandstand as a teenager, is that correct? Yes. And, and you had and actually signed with Dick Clark's record company. That's right. And yes. this was during the time when there was a lot of payola and plugola investigation going on. Yeah. So Dick Clark literally said, I'm not going to take any of my recording artists and put them on my show anymore, or I'm not going to promote them yes. because I could be, I could be uh, in investigated or at least accused of this possibility, right? Exactly. How do you exactly think that affected right. your career? Well, I, I think it was a favor, yeah. you know, as I look back on it, because the direction my music was taken then Mm -hmm. was not the direction I really wanted to go. Uh -huh. But when you're young like that, you know, you want to hit record. We all wanted hit record. Right. That's what we wanted when yeah. we were kids, you know. So f from that standpoint, I at least got to go do bandstand a couple of times, and I got to see what it was like and meet oh. Dick Clark, you know, yeah. and all the kids that danced on the show. And so, uh, you know, I was hero-worshipping myself, oh, yeah. you know, actually, when I went in there. You are also a big success in Europe. And we don't often think about, you know, Europeans listening to this type of music. What's the reaction when you play over there? Oh, it's really something, Deborah. Hey, you wouldn't believe it. The first time I went, well, it's like going back in time. It's like going back to the 50s because a lot of the festivals that you play, there'll be like three days of kids coming from all over the continent. You know, 80% of the kids that come, like, to England yeah. are coming from the continent, you know, wow. coming from Europe. Coming over to hear it. Yeah. That's and amazing. And so they all dress it. You know, and, and vintage clothes, most of them. And there's a lot of vintage cars, American cars there. So when you go to another country and you see all of that, that's, you know, it was yeah. like a time that's warp. That's exciting. You know. Something else exciting, uh, Ronnie's going to be on uh, Conan O'Brien. Yes. Is that right? Conan O'Brien, for some of you folks that may not know, is, is like the David Letterman of the 90s. He has the Late Late Show on Well, that tells on you how, how Rockabilly has, has sustained over the years. You know, you did American Bandstand and now Conan O'Brien. Yes. Know? Yes. Well, we understood that. We were actually worked on this show for about a year. I had a, some friends that really helped helped out. Crystal Clear Records uh -huh. here in Dallas really oh, helped. Good. David Denard really helped me a lot getting good on deal. this. But, um, uh, but that was what it was, yeah. That's going to be exciting to have be on uh, NBC, national the big exposure. national exposure. Yeah, Good yeah, I had done some in the past, you know, but right. uh, we did the Danny Kaye show a few years ago in Hollywood Palace. Wow. But of course, the most exciting show you've been on is Oh, Good Morning. Good morning. Oh, okay, all right, there we go. Now, <laughs> now we're going to have Ronnie and his group back here in a, in a few minutes, and they're going to play for you. Uh, we want to quickly mention, though, that you're going to be playing tomorrow night at the Sons of Herman Hall yes. uh, in Deep Ellum. Yes, Deep right. Ellum, 3414 Elm Street. Okay. Elm, yeah. actually exposition right at, right at the end of Elm Street. It is. And, and his new CD is called Monkey Beat, and we're going to come back and we're going to listen to uh, to you guys play here in a few minutes. And thanks for being with us. Thank we'll you, We'll see Scott. you again here yeah. in a couple of minutes. We'll hear you again in just a minute. And right. Ronnie, we're going to talk to Sam Rubin. If you've seen the show, you know who Sam is. He's our Hollywood reporter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got yeah. all the kind of information that you want on Michael and Lisa and Hugh and Roseanne and Tom. The whole deal. And Sam, are you with us? I sure am. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very well. How are you? Very well.
Folks, if you remember flat top haircuts, chances are you're a fan of classic rockabilly music. And there's nobody that plays it better than the blonde bomber from Texas, Ronnie Dawson, with a new CD, He's Hotter Than Ever. And here's why. Ronnie Dawson, along with High Noon and Lisa Pankratz, singing Crazy Shoes. <laughs> Shoes. You're a heart-loving mama on a Saturday night I love it, baby, when you dress so tight Oh, sugar, I lost my blues When I seen you in your crazy shoes Now, shoo-be-doo-bop-shoo-bop-shoo-doo Shoo-be-doo-bop-shoo-bop-shoo-doo Ooh, shoo be doo bop shoo bop shoo doo Sean Mitchell here There's a woman on the drums back there. There is a woman. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lisa. There she is. There How are you? Go. <laughs> the princess of percussion. The princess Real of quickly, percussion. Let's go ahead and name the rest of the band members here. Who you got here? Big point. This is Kevin Smith. Kevin the Smith. incredible Kevin Smith. Okay. On the Who's bass. this? This is Sean Young. On Hi, the Sean. The, the fabulous lead. Sean Young. <laughs> My yes. name is Sean Mencher. Good morning. And Sean Mencher. Thank you all very much. Thank we appreciate you coming by. Thanks for having Folks, once again, they're going to be at uh, Sons of Herman Hall tomorrow yeah, night. Yeah, in Deep Ellum. And once again, the CD is called Monkey Bee, and it's available at music stores everywhere. That's right. We're going to be back in just a couple of minutes, and they're going to play us as we go to commercial break. Oh, Thank you, fellas right. and ladies. Two. Thank you. We'll be right back. Two. Two. Ahoy, as we show you some little skippers that are swimming through the big blue pool when Good Morning Texas continues. Hey! 
seen the running gears of a bopping machine. guest is no stranger to good music. He's one of the elite group of musicians who put the rock in rockabilly. That's right. He's the blonde bomber of Texas, and we've got him back here on Good Morning Texas. Ronnie Dawson is here this morning. Ronnie, thanks for being with us again. Thank Appreciate you. It. Good to see you, Sam. Good How morning. You, That's Scott, but you were pretty close. <laughs> Scott, what did I say? You said Sam, but a lot of people do. Oh, my goodness. Ever since I was about that tall. How did I do that? I don't know. That's Tell okay, us about Dawson. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about rockabilly. What does rockabilly mean? Where does the term come from? You know, I don't really know. It came back from in the 50s somewhere. I think Carl Perkins was the first guy to say it. Uh -huh. Carl Perkins is the guy that put out blue suede shoes. Yeah. And that's what I call rockabilly, you know. Do you think he took it from hillbilly, uh, country? And rock and put it together? Yeah, rock and blues. I yeah. think that's basically what it is. And some, you know, church music. Like, you know, like we talked about last time you were on the yeah, show. Exactly. Which is your background, really, in your family. You couldn't help but become a musician. That's true. Tell that's us about true. your family's history in music. Well, my father was uh, a western swing musician. He yeah. had a band called Pinky Dawson and the Manhattan Merrymakers. Wow. And they, they played on local Carol LD. Radio oh, Carol D. Radio, sure. Yeah, every morning at 6 o'clock. You know, I thought about that this morning, you know, when we got up at 6. Right. <laughs> because because they used to do that and work down here at the Manhattan Club down in Deep Ellum in the 30s and during the centennial in Dallas. And they worked, you know, this probably two or three, four years they did this and, wow. and did a 6 o'clock radio show at the same morning. time yeah and your mom was in church doing music yes trying to get you to yes, get more involved in the uh, church music as we discussed last time you were here yes. isn't it funny that deep ellum has come s full circle again it's neat isn't and, it? and now you're performing down there from time to time and and uh, and your dad performed down there it's kind of a, a family thing isn't it yes it is you know a lot of performers that you know were the originators of this kind of music i think i mean the forerunners like t-bone walker you mm -hmm. know and people like that mm -hmm. they were here in dallas they actually lived here in dallas Dallas sure. and did things. Bob Wills was here, you know, and did recorded in Dallas in right. the early days. Hey, your CD is called Monkey Bee. Tell us a little bit about the CD. Well, this CD is actually a two in one, uh, Scott. This is a, a 1988 album on there called Still a Lot of Rhythm. And I can't remember how many tracks, but the first 11 tracks on this are, you know, things that I did in the last year and a half. Uh -huh. And the others or some things I did in 1988, which is the first time I had recorded this kind of music in several uh, years. Yeah, wow. I remember going to a sock hop when I was in junior high school, and I just loved the music. And my mom came to pick me up and heard the music, and so she started having fond memories. This is obviously music that can uh, impact any generation. What is it about rockabilly that just makes everyone love it? Well, I think I heard you say it a little earlier. It just makes you feel good, or Scott said it one or yeah. the other. It's just it, 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 you make it, it makes you feel good. It's like it's a little bit of church. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, the black gospel mm -hmm. type of things, and mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to go sit in on some of those, mm -hmm. you know, and I know the feeling, and it's real. Yeah. And I think, I hope to think that's the kind of feeling that High Noon and Lisa and, and myself put into your music. Put into our music. Well, you're going to perform, perform for us again this morning. You did last time you were here, and everybody yes. loved it. This Can't morning wait. you're going to perform uh, Rockin' Bones. Rockin' Bones. Yeah, boy. That is some kind of song, and, and you're going to do that for us. Uh, and we're glad to have Ronnie Dawson. And once again, the name of the CD is Monkey Beat. And the name of the song is Rockin' Bones. <laughs> 